Hi children. So today I am going to read you a story called How to Catch a Star and it's by Oliver Jeffers. It's a really nice story. Maybe you could cut out a star or make a star after you've seen after you've read this story and maybe you could look out at night and maybe you look into the sky and if it's a very clear night sometimes you can see stars in the sky. Anyway, here we are. Let's listen to the book. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Can you see him looking at the stars in the sky? Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and he wished he had one of his very own. is looking out at the stars. He dreamed that this star might be his friend and they would play hide and seek together and take long walks together. I think he really wants a friend, don't you? The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. Oh, look, he set his alarm clock. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he couldn't see the star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited. And ate lunch. And waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Oh, it's hard waiting, isn't it? Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and to grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree that he could find. But the star was still out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with his life belt from his father's boat. But it was much too heavy for him to carry. thought that he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star. But his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. The boy thought he would never catch a star. Just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen, just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish it out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might wash up on the shore. He ran back along the jetty to the beach. Oh, look at that long jetty. He waited and walked 
and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star had washed up on the golden sand. The boy had caught a star. A star of his very own. And that's the end. Bye.